Okay, welcome back for another video. Today we have this old transmitter on the bench. And this is actually a transmitter I built myself. Uh, this one is built in an old tuning unit, tr uh, transmitter tuning unit uh, box. And uh, this uh, came, uh, this came from uh, the old venerable BC375. And uh, well, to make a long story short, I wanted a transmitter to go with this beautiful uh, BC348. You know, this is uh, the radio that started all this craziness with the um, old military radios. And I wanted a matching transmitter. And you know, finding a BC375 today is not an easy task. So, I eventually I stumbled across the picture of a um, Swedish ham shack dated to 1949. And uh, which in this picture you can clearly see that he had converted a BC375 tuning unit into a VFO. And, well, I figured I wanted to do the same thing. So, I managed to find a BC375 tuning unit off of eBay coming in from Italy. And I modified that, I rebuilt that into a this transmitter you can see here. So uh, I'm pretty pleased. I haven't used it on air for quite some time, but I decided to take it out, make a video of it, and uh, well, test it on air. Okay, up close and personal. Uh, the front panel layout is mostly. Uh, the same as uh, the original tuning unit was. I did make a new front panel out of aluminum, but I retained most parts in their in their stock location. VFO dial is one of them. This is the original VFO dial from the tuning unit. Uh, this one is new. This is the um, uh, uh, buffer amplifier tuning knob. Uh, this is uh, our meter, obviously. Here we can switch between reading grid current to the final and cathode current. This is our spot switch. This is our band switch. Up here we have the plate tuning, plate load capacitor, key jack, and this is the receiver out jacks. Okay, so sorry for going handheld, but that's the easiest way for me <clears throat> to show you the inside. This is the oscillator, 687, a cathode follower, 6J5. This is the bu buffer multiplier. Here you can see the tank circuit for the buffer mu uh, multiplier. Here we have the final. Over here we have the keying tube. Now this is a differential keying, uh, differential keyed transmitter. So we're using negative voltage to turn off the final, the oscillator and the uh, buffer amplifier but we're sequencing that so we're, we're turning on the um, oscillator before we turn on the final and uh, the buffer amp so that we're not transmitting any chirp on air okay so uh, well here you can see this is the original tuning unit uh, 6 tank coil this is the original tuning unit a variable capacitor so they are quite oversized for what they are uh, down here we have the tuned circuits for the VFO through this holes we can adjust the band spread and the band set and all in all I'm very pleased with how this turned out now an improvement would be to add another buffer stage because we're not getting enough drive to get this to work properly in 20 meters. It covers 80, 40 and 20 meters, but um, yeah, we're, we're not having enough drive to be able to get any useful output on 20 meters. Uh, the metal box, I made this myself. I made from sheet metal, which I bent. I, we have a sheet metal bender at work and I made a, a little spot welder to make these nice uh, welds. I had all this powder coated, so it, it look it looks sharp. On top here, sorry once again for going handheld. This is the power supply. We are putting out 600 volts for the plate, 300 volts unregulated, 300 volts regulated, 150 volts regulated, 
uh, 75 volts regulated and also uh, a uh, regulated negative voltage so we're putting out 150 volts negative regulated so I use this with a lot of other transmitters but it was originally built only for this